Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today in this video, we're going to create this cave scene inside Unreal Engine 5. So I'm going to show you everything, the whole process from start to finish. Before we start the video, a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. So thank you so much for your support. Also, if you follow this video and you make something cool, make sure that you tag me on Instagram. And if you do so, you can get a shout out. So I'll repost it on my story. So make sure that you do that. So I've created an empty scene right here. And you can do that by going into the new level and creating the default level. So we are going to delete some things here. So delete the atmospheric fog and delete the sky sphere. And I'm going to keep the player chart because we need that for a reference. Like you can use it for player size reference. After that, select the direction lamp and change that to movable. Then select the skylight and change that to movable. Turn on real time capture. So we are going to use dynamic lighting. We are going to use lumen. So this looks pretty good. Now you can add a sky atmosphere. This looks pretty good. After that, select the direction light. And if your sky atmosphere is not working properly, go to the direction light settings and just turn on the atmospheric sun option. So that will make sure that you are using the sky atmosphere. Our sky atmosphere is looking good. Now let's add some volumetric clouds in the scene. After volumetric clouds, I'm also going to add some fog in the scene. So this is looking pretty good. Now in the fog settings, I'm going to change some of these settings here. So I'm going to decrease the fog density to about 0.01 and just change the interscattering colors to black. So you can select the direction light and you can use the rotation tool or you can use this shortcut. And by using this shortcut, you can like easily position your sunlight. So our lighting looks good. And again, the lighting doesn't matter much because we are going to create an indoor environment. So this looks good. So I'm going to move all the lighting elements down. And now finally, we can start working on the environment. First, I'm going to block out uh, the basic composition of my scene. So I'm going to white box my uh, basic level and my basic layout. So for the white boxing, I'm going to add some cubes. So just rotating, scaling and uh, duplicating these meshes. So basically we are going to add some quicksil assets and then we are going to place them on these cubes. Okay, so I have something that looks like a cave. Uh, so this looks pretty good. So once you have something like this, you can add Quixel assets in your scene. So add Quixel content. Now you can go to the limestone pack and you can see that you have a lot of like stone meshes here. So I've downloaded a couple of these. And now these assets are in their individual folders. So to see every asset at one time, I'm going to add a static mesh filter. So we can start by adding in this mesh and just positioning it like that. Control W to duplicate and feel free to scale these assets as we are not making a realistic like a playable level. So it doesn't matter. So I'm just placing these assets onto our walls. So this looks pretty good. After that, I'm going to add a ground material. Now to apply the ground material, you can drag that material onto these meshes. After that, our scene has been darkened. 
So let's select the direction light and let's increase the intensity. And you can notice that Unreal is constantly changing the exposure. So basically we need to turn off auto exposure. So for that, I'm going to add a post process volume and turn on infinite extents in the post process volume. After that, search for exposure and set your minimum and maximum brightness to a value of one. After that, you can play with the lighting intensity and you can also rotate it by using the shortcut. So as you can see, I'm making the top part of the cave by adding similar uh, cliff assets. And I'm going to add these limestone meshes, limestone slabs here. Again, you don't need to follow what I'm doing. Like feel free to play with all of these uh, assets. So I'm going to stop here, but again, like spend a lot of time on this. The more time you spend, the higher quality result you'll get. Now after this, let me show you how to quickly make an animation and render it out. So for the animation, I'm going to add a cinematic camera actor. Select the cinematic camera actor, right click and move it to the position. After that, go to the cinematic mode. And you can also turn on the camera view. I always change the lens and for this setting, like we need a, a higher field of view. So you can set the lens settings to 24 millimeters and that will give you a wide angle view. Now let's create an animation. So for the animation, you can add a level sequence. And that is going to open up the sequencer panel. We need to animate the camera. So to do that, you can drag the camera from there into the sequencer. So on frame zero, you can add a keyframe, a transform keyframe. After that, you can go to the end frame, move the camera inwards and then add a transform keyframe. So essentially we have created a camera animation. So you can play the animation and as you can see, this looks pretty good. So our animation is done. Now let's render this out. So I've made advanced rendering videos on the movie render queue. So if you want to watch that, I will leave some links down in the description. But in this video, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to render this out. So to render the sequence, you can press the render button in the sequencer and this will open up the render settings. So you can render this as a video. You can render this as image sequence. So I'm going to use the image sequence down here. You can define the frame rate. You can define the resolution. Down Down in the animation, I always set this to 32. So set the warm up frame count to 32 and set the delay between a warm up frames and delay before shot to one second. So you can simply press the capture button and render this out. And that's it. So this is how easy it is to create something like this inside Unreal Engine 5. So I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Also, if you follow my tutorials and if you make something cool, feel free to post them on Instagram. And yeah, that's it. Subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. And I'm going to see you in the next video.